Hello student, today's topic is bridge presentation. First one, definition. Bridge presentation is the presentation in which the fetus is in longitudinal line and its buttocks is the lowermost part. Means the baby is the longitudinal line and buttock will be the presenting part. During the delivery time, the buttock is came out first from the vagina. Okay. Incidence. 28 weeks and 25 percent sperm baby 2 to 3 percent and one third of the undiagnosed in the labor then classification there are the four types of classification in bridge presentation frank bridge complete bridge footling bridge or the kneeling frank bridge means where the hips are flexed and legs are extended okay and complete bridge where the hips and knees are flexed and the feet are not below the level of the fetal buttocks and footling bridge where one or both feet are presenting as the lowest part of the fetus and kneeling knees are, knees are uh, the lower most presenting part the image you can better understand it is the frank presentation the legs are extend towards the head and complete bridge is like this and footling one or both feet may came out first and kneeling means knee are the presenting part then position the denominate is the sacrum first position left sacro anterior means back anterior and to left then second position right sacro anterior back anterior and to right then third position right sacro posterior and back posterior and to the right and fourth position left sacro posterior back posterior and to the left okay then maternal factor polyhydramnios oligohydramnios uterine anomalies polyhydramnios means in the mother womb there is the amniotic fluid and when the amniotic fluid is uh, fluid is more that is called the polyhyramnios and when this fluid is low volume or the um, in the low amount of fluid is present in the mother's womb that medical term is called oligohyramnios okay and uterine anomalies mean bicoronate and the septate okay uterus is the bicoronated okay then space occupying lesions then placental abnormality previa also is there maybe sorry previa maybe is there or abruptio is there any any abnormality in present in placenta then multiparity in particularly gland multipara okay then contracted pelvis then fetal factor Prematurity, fetal anomalies, multiple pregnancy, fetal death, short umbilical cord, extend legs because they splint the trunk and so interfere with the spontaneous cephalic vulsions. Okay. Then mechanism of delivery. What are all the mechanism of delivery? First one engage. Engage means the baby's head is or the baby's presenting part is engaged to the mother's pelvis. Okay. Then descent. Descent means the baby's presenting part is come down. Okay. Then internal rotation. In the mother's womb there are the rotation is there. Then lateral flexion. In the mother's womb flexion will be happen. Then external rotation. External means uterine muscles or wall all are contracted. Okay. Then birth. Then birth is happen. Bridge then body then head. Okay. Bridge means what are all the presenting part? If the buttock or the food or the knee. Okay. Which part is babies came out first? That is called the bridge. Then body then head okay but normal delivery we are seeing that his head is the presenting part first uh, came out the head then body then lower extremity okay then diagnosis of bridge first diagnosis clinical examination 
abdominal examination and vaginal examination and radiological examination x-ray ultrasound scan CT scan or the MRI clinical diagnosis first one abdominal examination we have to palpate the abdomen okay fundal grips the head is filled with its character and pelvic grip the breeze is filled with its character okay auscultation the fetal heart sounds are head just at or above the level of the umbilicus when we are um, hearing the fetal heart sound the um, probe is there if we are heart sound baby's heart sound we have to get means we have to place the uh, probe just above or the label of the umbilicus okay in uh, in where we get um, heart sound means the baby is correct but in those place are not getting baby's heart rate means the baby is the bridge presentation okay vaginal examination slow dilatation of the cervix and so uh, then so is the chapel bag of four water and the liability to the premature rupture of the membrane and prolapse of the cord then after the rupture of the membrane the presenting part is felt that is the two buttocks with the anus is between the genitalia on one side and the sacral spine on the opposite side understood okay in case of complete breach the feet are felt on the same level as the buttock okay in case of the bridge with extent legs the buttocks only are felt in case of footling presentation the feet are at a lower level than the buttocks in case of knee presentation the knees are the lower level than the buttocks okay this is the imaging technique ultrasound we can show the image of the baby and CT scan also and MRI also okay this is the ultrasound bridge presentation so like baby's head is one side it is the longitudinal line okay then bridge presentation management after 36 weeks 2 is the spontaneous version and external cephalic version Management during the pregnancy if the persisted till 34 weeks then the ultrasound scan to, ex to exclude abnormality polyhydramnios placenta previa by completed 37 weeks the external cephalic version and version there is the two type external cephalic version internal podalic version this is the external cephalic versions okay in delivery room NPO and ready for the CA by NCS and the CTG e USS then tocolytic and hit down position then dislodge bridge then then um, gently turn around and US and CTG after procedures okay ultrasound we have to do and CTG we have to do after the position uh, procedure the baby's head is came down or not okay and it is it, we must have to make sure that then internal podalic versions risks of the external cephalic version we have to know first then placental abduction premature rupture of the membrane that cord accident then trans uh, transplacental hemorrhage remember anti d administration in the races negative omen and fetal bradycardia then contraindication of the external cephalic version absolute contraindication and relative contraindication absolute contraindication is the previous scar on the uterus placenta previa unexplained APH and preeclampsia multiple pregnancy and relative contraindication are the RH ISO immunization elderly premigravida and intrauterine growth retardation and oligohydramnios and polyhydramnios okay then management during the labor 
सीजेरियन शिक्षण एंड वैजनल डिलीवरी स्पॉन्टेनियस ब्रिज डिलीवरी और द एसिस्टेड ब्रिज डिलीवरी और द टोटल ब्रिज एक्सट्रक्शन ओके इंडिकेशन ऑफ द वैजनल डिलीवरी फ्रैंक और कंप्लीट ब्रिज प्रेजेंटेशन और द गेस्टेशनल एज लेस दैन थर्टी सिक्स वीक्स एंड इस्टिमेटेड फिटल वेट एंड टू पॉइंट फाइव टू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव के जी एंड फिटल हेड मास्ट भी फ्लेक्सड एंड एडिक्वाइट मेटर्नल पेलविस एक्स रे और द सीटी पेलवी मेट्री एंड नो अदर ऑब्सटेटरी कॉम्प्लिकेशन दैन मैनेजमेंट ड्यूरिंग द लेबर If there is the contracted pelvic and the fetus is living and good, do the caesarean section. In first stage, rest in bed and avoid the repeated vaginal examination to prevent the premature rupture of the membranes. But vaginal examination is done after the rupture of membrane to exclude the cord prolapse. Okay. then second stage delivery of the after coming head the burns marcel method and the mauricio smell bait maneuver and the pragio maneuver and the piper forces okay this is the burns marcel's method okay and this is the mauricio smell a bait maneuver then pragio maneuver the back of the fetus fail to rotate to the anterior then piper forces then total bridge extraction indication prolong second stage of the liver then twins maternal disease prolapse cord fetal distress and total bridge extraction like this then cesarean section indication large fetus contraction or the unfavorable shape of pelvis and hyper extended head then uterine dysfunction incomplete or the food limb presentation or the preemie gravida then indication of the cesarean section in the breech healthy preterm severe fetal growth restriction previous perinatal death or newborn and complication of birth trauma then lack of an experience operated then complication of the breech delivery maternal complication risks of operative intervention risks of infection due to the manipulation and intrauterine maneuver rupture of the uterus and the laceration of the cesc then extension of the episiotomy and uterine atony postpartum hemorrhage and complication of the fetus preterm delivery and the low birth weight or the intrauterine growth retardation then prolapse cord birth asphyxia fetal injury okay this is about the breech presentation thank you